I just throw it over there. Hopefully it'll go over the leaves. It did not. <laughs> What's up agents, Zer here, welcome back to another Minecraft map showcase. Today I'm going to be playing Matt's Mini Golf Rainbow Edition. Now, this lobby is fairly obvious as to who made it and, well, possibly the uh, title of this map would make it also obvious. This was created by none other than Matt the Miner 44. He really does a good job with every single one of his maps. He's done a ton of maps, he's provided me with quite a few different things to go ahead and record for you guys. So I've played one other mini golf map by him before and at the time that I actually made that video, it was the only mini golf map that he made. However, earlier this week, well technically last week, according to this one, this video is going to be uploaded. Uh, this was recently uploaded to MCPDL. This is obviously his latest map and we're going to go ahead and get started now here's what i want you guys to do i want you guys to go down in the description of this video download this map for yourself and play along with me because i want you guys to see how many strokes that you can get in this map and hopefully try to beat my score and obviously because this is golf you're trying to get a lower score than me so that is my challenge to you that is what i did Last time, although admittedly I didn't give out the challenge until the end of the video last time. But yeah, that's what I want you guys to do in this little challenge I'm putting together. And I have on my whiteboard, and for those of you who don't uh, know, I do have a white dry erase board up above my desk. I've got a little bit of a chart that's going to let me know exactly what all my strokes are. I just have to write things down as I go along. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what kind of balls that we have available. Um... I'm going to use what I used last time. I'm going to go ahead and use the ocean ball. I think it was just simply called a blue ball the last time I actually played this game. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so there are 10 uh, courses, I guess is what's called. I don't think they're called courses. Maybe they are. Um, so there are 10 courses in this map. And we're going to try to get, as I mentioned, as few strokes as possible. And we're going to be starting off with this first course. This is a light green course. So let's go ahead and stand. I'm assuming I have to stand right here. And if I go ahead, let me go ahead and aim upward a little bit. And I think if I go ahead and throw, oh, that did not work as well as I thought it was going to. But it looks like the ball is still traveling just a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and stand right here and throw this. There we go. Okay. So it seemed to work. A lot better me throwing it straight rather than up so I got a stroke of two for this first course okay so hold on I should probably I could probably pull the ball back out of the um, hopper but I'm just gonna take some rust these to make it go a little bit faster all right so we are now up on the second course this is the red course. So if I go ahead and stand right about here and I aim like right about there, yeah. And I found out apparently from the last course that throwing it straight actually works a little bit better. Yeah, that that definitely worked a lot better than throwing it up. Okay, that sounded weird. All right, so let's go ahead and pick it up. Stand right here, all right. And let's go ahead and throw it our second time and there we go so we got two strokes on the second course not too bad i think i'm probably gonna end up getting a lot more strokes this time than i did last time but you know what not really a huge deal and hold on did it say what the part is for this course it doesn't seem to say what the part is for each individual course not that it's really a huge deal i suppose i can deal with that all right so we're on course three Yo, and I want to say, if I go ahead and stand, like, right about here, and go ahead and throw the ball out there, so it goes about halfway across, and if I go ahead and stand right here, hopefully I can get at least two strokes here, and yeah, it looks like I got two strokes. The blue ice, I'm assuming, is what's underneath these carpets, which is causing it to slide a little bit farther after I've already thrown it, and it's 
technically stop, but I guess really not. Okay, so there we go. We've got two strokes each for the three courses. So that makes a total of six strokes so far. Okay, so right now we have a dark blue course and this has a nice ice theme. That actually looks pretty good. All right, so let's see. Um, I'm not gonna cheat. I, I really don't wanna cheat, but I wanna get a closer look at what this course actually looks like in I think I should be able to easily bypass this area, I'm assuming because of like Minecraft ice physics, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, uh, I mean that's obviously how it works. So let's go ahead and throw the ball going in that direction, okay so I made it halfway across, not too bad, alright, and if I go ahead and throw it that way, hopefully, okay so it actually did stop, so I'm going to have to go ahead and do this. A third time okay so I got myself a set of three that time so so far we have if I'm counting this out correctly I have nine so far okay let's move on to the next course which it looks to me like it's orange this is obviously rainbow so it's a little bit easier to tell which uh, course is which just by the color of the block and Okay, so we got a little bit of a zigzag pattern, but this should be relatively easy while I'm looking at it. It probably shouldn't be too big of a deal. Alright, so if I just go ahead and stand like right in the center, right here, and I just aim down the center. There we go. And I just do that. That seems like a decent spot. And let's go ahead and do the same thing, obviously, again. And let's see, are we going to make it all the way to the end? Not quite, but yeah, yeah, not quite. So let's go ahead and just throw it in. Okay, so we got ourselves three for that one. Okay, so let me go ahead and write this down. All right, so we've got the first three courses. We have two strokes in this uh, last two courses that we've done so far have all been three strokes. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so course six, purple. Okay. So this is going to take at least three strokes, I'm assuming, because uh, Matt did not put down uh, any sort of par for these courses. Not really a, a huge deal, but that's whatever. So let's go ahead and throw this. Let's see where this lands. Okay, right there. Okay, so not too bad. And let's go ahead and throw it this way, because that's obviously the direction that we need to go ahead and make it to. So it looks like this is just going to be, like I said... Three, yeah. Okay, so we got three for this course. So let me go ahead and write this down. So if I'm counting this out, I've got six, nine, twelve, fifteen so far. Okay. So that's six courses done. Four more to go. And okay, I was wondering if the cactus was actually in the course. Thankfully, it's not. It would not make a lot of sense if it was though. All right. So let's see. Let's scout out this course. I probably should have just kind of stayed in here instead of turning around like an idiot. All right, so this seems a, like a pretty decent um, course. All right, so let's see. What direction do I want to throw? I suppose I could stand right here, not on the slab. That would be cheating. All right, so let's go ahead and throw it in that direction. All right, so that landed right here. And I'm assuming if I just throw it over there, hopefully it'll go over the leaves it did not all right let's go ahead and throw it there there we go finally not that it really took too many strokes but i thought i could throw it over the leaves and apparently that's not the case so strokes uh three strokes for that course really not too big of a deal all right so we've got a bunch of diamonds this is yeah light blue like i uh, kind of figured all right this looks like it might be a little bit difficult. I'm not going to lie. There's so many diamond blocks in the way. All right. Uh, so, I think I stand right here. No, that won't work. Um, Yeah, I suppose that could work right there. And, okay, so we landed right here. Not too bad. All right. So, can I get two strokes for this course? I doubt it, but we can try. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, so these courses are definitely getting tougher. I mean, in the sense of how many strokes it's actually taking to 
go ahead and I uh, get them in the holes or the hoppers technically. All right, so we got ourselves. Oh, I fell into the water. Okay, so looks like we got ourselves pink this round. Yeah, pink. That's why I kind of figure. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna have to make a right turn right about here, which that should hopefully not be too big of a deal. I need to be careful not to throw it too far in this direction. That will definitely throw me off. That would definitely cause me to have to take more strokes. All right, so let's go ahead and see how far we can actually get this. Okay, so we got it decently far, so let's go ahead, turn a little bit in this direction. I'm expecting to have to pick it up a second time. Yeah, I kind of figured. All right, so really close to the hole, so let's go ahead and throw that in. Okay, so three for that course, so we've got all except one course done. And it looks like it's just simply white. Okay, not really too big of a deal. It did say it was, oh, these water holes are going to make this one a little bit tricky. I need to be careful here. And it's the last course, too. All right. Well, it looks like I have a clear spot, like, right about here. So I suppose the water wasn't really as big of a deal as it was making it out to be. All right. So let's go ahead and throw it there. All right, there we go. Me about halfway across, not too bad. Go ahead and stand right here in. Let's see if I can actually get two on this course. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give myself two on this course because it's still going. I don't know why that's the thing with blue ice, but it definitely is. All right, so two for that course. So... Let's count this out. I realize you guys, oh, well, you guys are going to see on screen what my uh, scores are. So let me count this out. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 12, 24, 26. So I'm assuming, if I remember correctly from last time, I got 27 strokes. If I remember correctly, I don't actually remember 100%, but I think I got 27 strokes. So I think, let me just double check if my math is actually correct here. So let me pull up a calculator on my other screen and just calculate this out because I think I'm correct, but I just want to double check um, two, uh, four twos and then six threes. And that looks like yeah, 26. I was right the first time. I don't know why I decided to, I need to double check, but yeah, I was right the first time. All right, so 26 strokes. That is the score I need you guys to beat if you decide to play this game for yourself. Obviously, as I mentioned earlier, that's going to mean you have to get less strokes than me. But other than that, that's actually a good place for me to go ahead and end off the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. One more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Juice Juice. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.